Welcome back to Hidden Blessings Homestead. In today's video, we will be installing our HECO 520 wood cook stove. With some of the websites that we looked at and contacted, the waiting time for your stove could be anywhere from five to eight months or longer. And so we were so happy when we found a store in Concarden that had a wide selection in stock that we could just go drive down and pick up our stove and get back in the same day. And Levi was fantastic. The whole experience was great and it solidified in my mind as I could compare in person that I was so happy I chose the HECO 520. If you're in Ontario and you're looking for a wood cook stove, I would highly encourage you to check out Levi's store. I'll leave some contact information in the description below. There's also a beautiful little Amish store that you can visit while you're there. It's really worth the drive. Getting the stove here was the easy part. Getting it in the house was more challenging. Thankfully, we have great neighbors and Mike and Gord work really well together. So while we're watching them bring the stove into the house, I thought I would tell you a little bit more about why I chose the HECO 520. So one thing that really attracted me to the stove was its efficiency. Uh, they boast a 13 hour burn time and that it can heat up to 2,500 square feet. Another thing I really liked was the fact that you can get the glass doors for both the firebox and for the oven. While we're on the subject of the oven, I really like how when you turn the oven control on, they've directed the fire to go under the oven, then around the side and over the top. I find that it cooks much more evenly. Some of the other options I really liked was the shaker at the back um, and the thermostatic damper. I really enjoy the fact that I can set that and it can help me regulate my oven temperature and my stovetop temperature as well as the heat in our house. Cook stoves have come a long way. The other thing I noticed when I was in person at Levi's shop was that the quality, it's, it's a heavy duty stove. You can tell it is well made. Um, everything from the size of gaskets, the style of gaskets in the oven door and the firebox door. Some other things that sold me on the oven was the fact that it, it is finished on all sides, uh, the top, the back, both sides and the bottom. And there is a pull out bottom tray so that you can easily clean your oven out. Mine came with two oven racks and you have the ability to position them in four different positions. And I really liked that the spacing of those four different positions was better than some of the other stoves I had looked at. Well, she's off the trailer and here we go. There was a few intense moments, let me tell you. Once it was off the ground and moving, it had a tendency to swing a lot while the backhoe was driving, as well as it was definitely proving to weigh a lot, even for the backhoe. In case you missed that, the front tires of the backhoe were lifting off the ground. So the stove was just too uh, heavy for the backhoe. We decided to turn it around and use the bucket instead. Thanks to Mike bringing over the backhoe, we were able to unload it and put it in the house. As you can see, it's a heavy stove. It actually weighs 825 pounds is what is listed on the website. So without the backhoe, it definitely would have been interesting.
she was a big one. Do you remember how we did the flame view? You boys wouldn't remember that, would you? I do remember it. Yeah? Yeah. Where'd it go inside? In the patio door. There was no patio door, but that side, yes. Yeah, but over there. There's a little door. We used the track and added it. And it was swinging. Just need the dolly. Grandpa has a dolly, so when we want to move it, we use the dolly. Just grab the board. Oh, yeah. And then we had to ratchet it across the house. Technically, it. There we go. Now, what do you think that it can go inside? Uh, you go back again, but no, no friction. Uh, okay. 
Okay, now you can pick your side up this time. For me? Yeah. Okay. okay, I'll go back. Okay. So I bought a 12 inch ring because I knew I had to be or 12 and 12 inches extension Please instead of the, these do more instead of an 18. So I was hoping by the time I had it came out six inches from the wall plus my yeah. elbow so I need to be where I needed to be. I think you're pretty much right. Because right. this actually has to go back about an inch. So that's perfect. And one. that can come in some, so we're, we're definitely golden. So Gord was able to bend some flat stock and close it all in. I think it looks nice. Since owning and using the stove, some additional things that I've come to really appreciate are the wooden handles and the orientation of the wood box. I like that I can put my wood in straight lengthwise and I like that when I put the wood in I don't have to worry about as I'm stacking it full that it might come roll down and hit the glass. Overall, we're just really happy with the stove. I will be doing some more in-depth comparisons between this stove and other stoves in future videos. So if you're interested, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hope you've enjoyed the video and have a blessed day.